um, where do you think our entertainment industry as it is right now? I know that we have spoken a lot about the film industry, but where do you think the, in that, the entertainment industry in the whole would be in, say, five years from now? Well, I, I, I think that a lot of things are changing. Yeah, a lot of positive things are happening and people are believing in Cameroon content, Cameroonian content. You know, it also has to do with, 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 the, with the life, the, the standard of life in the country as a whole. Mm -hmm. Because before people can stream movies or music or whatever, it has to start from how they are living their lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't expect someone who barely eats to put data to go and watch of him. <laughs> His problem is not the film. His problem is to eat. So it starts from the, the livelihood of Cameroonians as a whole. So if Cameroon, if the standard of life in Cameroon as a whole is changing, mm -hmm. that is how consumption of art will change. And you see other places are very big because the people there who consume the, the art and promote the industry, mm -hmm. they are already doing very well. You see, you can put uh, uh, you can put tickets of a premiere in some places for 20 million and people will pay. Mm. If you put that in Cameroon. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. I don't know. Uh, where do you, where would you like the industry to be? In the next five years in your own obviously, imaginary scenario obviously where would you I, like I, it to be? I see that there will be a lot of change a positive a positive change because too there is a lot of uh, one thing that is, is happening now that I'm, I, I think that if it happens properly you know for instance if the way Cameroonian the way Cameroon government and the way Cameroon as a whole looks at sports mm -hmm. yeah if entertainment is giving a little attention to like that I think that a lot of things can can sit up, and two, people are striving to 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 to, to build something good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mediocrity is still not as it was before. Like people, everybody is trying to really do things correctly now, and mm -hmm. that is the way an industry goes. So I believe that if more investors invest in the industry in the next five years. People doing movies in Cameroon will be living good, you know. Actors, mm -hmm. musicians, content creators in general, they will, they will, they will, they will be doing very well. Okay. Yeah. Well, anyways, I think it's um, we all want to live better from from all this work of art. It's a lot of it's a lot of things are coming are coming play for you to actually get some that type of work out there. And you even spoke about streaming. I. I it just came to my mind this um i think i saw it on the internet one time film is it film room yeah film room, film room and i think there were there were a few filmmakers around i was in the vicinity mm. <laughs> and really i would like to say i if we really look i'm sure the film community or the filmmakers community is really going to benefit from looking at things from from the consumer's perspective mm -hmm looking at what the consumer how the consumer consumes and how and the behavior of the consumer and adapt to it because the discussion really was around how the, the i think my issue with the whole thing was about the the barrier of entry to watch whatever thing that i wanted to put on the film room because i just thought that the they could do a lot more because it, I think it's a really, really great project. I think it's something very good, but I think it was it was done looking at how it is how is it going to benefit the filmmaker, and not how is it going to benefit the consumer. The, consumer. the policies they have. Yes, because like I said, the barrier of entry. If I can remember very well, I think it was um, I think you had to like download the download the app and. Or like 300 francs or something, or it was 200, or I don't know. Or it was even 100, I don't even care. But <coughs> to watch a single movie, and I was like, Phew. why would I want to pay 100 francs to watch a single movie and pay another 100 francs to watch another movie and pay another 100 francs to watch another movie? For the average Cameroonian who doesn't, who doesn't consume as much, as much uh, content or as much movies on such a platform which is a new platform again in that way it's if it, it, the 100 francs might seem small but 
it's a huge 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 barrier for a lot of people and if you just really do really think about the consumer and the consumer the consumption habits of the consumer i think there's a lot of things that could be that could change and that could go forward and that could make the whole industry better yeah i think that for that aspect of you know is is it's just like what i was saying that sometimes we do things before thinking about the people that we are doing it for because just the fact that we have a million apps i mean a million applications in our phones mm -hmm. to watch free movies from <laughs> everywhere you know it's 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 it's, it's just it's just logical that if you make it that complicated because 100 francs is to purchase what about the data that we use to watch it yeah so if a Cambodian thinks that it will cost him 500 francs to watch a film he will definitely go and watch another one that is completely free somewhere so the competition what we are fighting in a market that is very crowded and everybody wants to be heard so if you really want to be heard you should really look for somewhere that is high and stand yeah yeah because if you stand down there those standing up there they will definitely so i think that we are still trying to develop cameroonians with the culture of loving cameroon films mm -hmm. and cameroonians don't have any we don't have any leverage over them mm -hmm. for instance our tv stations still show films from other countries mm -hmm. CR tv still shows nigerian films and doesn't show cameroon films so Cameroonians don't have yeah, not as much there as is no affinity for Cameroonian films. Cameroonians don't care if they are watching Cameroonian films or not. It's not their business. They they only have to know that there is one Cameroonian film that is exceptionally nice, then they go and watch. Talking about fisherman, talking about saving bango, mm -hmm. talking about planters, you know, it's just a long line. There's always one one name that everybody is looking up to. It's like when they have watched that particular film, then it has ended. Okay. So the other films we don't know that and because we don't have the culture of and of which there are films that are not that are even better than some of those films. Maybe there are films that are nicer than Fisherman's Diary, but we don't know because where are we watching it? So I think that they yeah. should understand the culture of the consumers before even thinking about putting some barriers that will make it difficult yeah yeah well talking about projects though i'm sure with all these projects i'm sure you are you know you are always working on something so what are you working on recently what have you been working on recently yeah, um recently we um I'm, I'm, I'm doing working on we are working on old town road old town road the tv series the first uh musical tv series that we did it's a project that is one of a kind. It's a project that has really, ne I don't know if anyone has done it before in Cameroon, but it's, it's, it was very challenging because it was different. We had a, a different approach. It was not like a normal movie. Yeah, what's it really all about? What's Old Town Road? Old Town Road. About? Yeah, Old Town Road is a project that was, uh, it was more, it started like, you know, personally, I come from music. A movie. I mm -hmm. came from music to movie, so I kind of lived the life of both of an actor and an artist. So mm -hmm. I was kind of putting my experience, the things that I I see about how the industry is, into that story, and we worked on it, and you know we got a sponsor on that project, and we we have put a lot of energy to it because we want people to be able to understand the life of an artist what it looks like to be an artist in cameroon yeah and then looking at it from the from the viewpoint of you know some young people who are trying to make it in a, in a competitive industry they have no sponsor and then somebody has showed up to sponsor and there was that tussle yeah then also the project is about uh, you know a lot of things doubting yourself I don't want to let the cut out of the bag. Yeah, like really everything that our guys, our entertainment guys go yes, about true. day to day. So yeah. that means if someone is actually interested about the, the entertainment industry, and I know it's a lot of people, they should watch Old Town Road. They yeah. should be waiting to watch. Is it, you are saying watch Old Town Road? Is it available already? Yeah, they should be waiting because it, it's not available. It's not available and it's still in the, in the, 
post production stage mm. there is still a lot of work before we can say that it's available now when are we expecting to get it now well to be very honest for now what i can tell i can say is just that let's just keep waiting for it for black home and dgc melody studios to to do what they know how to do best in my own position i might not be able to say anything because you know i'm the director but it was a project that of an entire we had a, a lot of productions involved in it you know, chapnik pictures mm. black home entertainment bgc melody you know 80 pro studios a lot of companies were involved so it's not something i can see and they tell you next month you're going to have a time well, anyways, I think Otaroth they has they have a, a Facebook page, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm sure if there's anything that is happening, we can we can keep following Otan Road, and yeah. there will be news coming out from yeah. from the back every day, every day on the listen on the channel and everything. Mm-hmm. Anyways, if when there's going to be news, we are going to be letting it out there. Yeah. Right. And I think you also have like uh, some other things going on, right? Yeah. At the moment, I am. You know, I, I I am having my training program that is going on because Black Home Entertainment, we have been organizing training sessions for uh, filmmakers, writers, actors, light technicians, sound technicians. We have been organizing training trainings like that. And one of the very first reasons why we, we, we decided to do a project like that is because we decided to empower our team, our members, with skill. Because personally, I realized that if you attack the industry, the entertainment industry, only from one front, I don't know. But to me, I felt that it is important that my actor should know something else. So mm-hmm. all black home members were compelled to learn something behind the camera. Yeah. So some of them learn script, some of them learn. So I did it that way so that they should be building both, you know, being behind and being in front. I think it will multiply and increase their chances of making it in the industry. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I think, like I usually say, there's no wealthy person on earth who makes money just by with one thing. Yeah. You kind of have to multitask sometimes maybe you not really multitask but diversify, diversify i think yeah. diversify is the right word yeah you need to diversify in order to increase your chances of success mm-hmm. and i think if you're in the movie industry or in the film industry skills is what gets you where you are maybe you might not be as proficient as an actor but you might find your real passion in <coughs> in some other kind of technical work i mm-hmm. think that's very very important to to point out you know